John, a frustrating draw in the end. Yeah, it certainly was. I felt the first 10 minutes Dundee United started better, then we dominated the game. Uh, for the rest of the game, I felt there was spells in the game, five minutes here and there at Dundee United, kept coming back in it and they were resolute and solid. They had plenty to hang on to, having been 1-0 up with the, with the first goal. And we said at half time, you know, let's just keep doing what we're doing, do it a little bit better, organise a wee bit better in terms of the shape a little bit. And uh, when I felt the second half, once we got the goal, I was saying there's only one winner here. It was all Inverness, and you know, we're huffing and puffing. That's, you know, I was trying to come up with the words. You know, a lot of good football, but huffing and puffing in the final fourth, we need to be ruthless. When the chances come, we need to be ruthless. You know, and I'm not talking about clear cut chances, I'm talking about cutbacks, crosses. I'm talking about hitting a target when you're shooting, making the right decision, slot, yeah, there you go, and all that stuff. Um, and then we're all sitting on the bench, we're all just sitting looking, you go, you know what will happen here, because we're so far on top. And it was self inflicted, it really was self inflicted, a real cheap goal to give away. But all credit to them, we kept going, kept going, made one or two substitutions, and um, we pulled it, out the, pulled it out of the hat. It was important that Dungeon United never went away with three points, and we got someone out of the game. So, really frustrated, a lot of good stuff, but we need to be better in the final third. And that's no, that's also I have to give them credit because you're playing guys like Vikers and J James Vincent out of position and they're trying ever so hard. Great. Um, Miles is a natural goal scorer, wants to go that way all the time. You know, um, so, you know, when the window comes, any, if there's any activity coming in here, it has to be up the top end. It has to be up the top end. I think they'll go forward when we manage to get the ball out right to Danny Williams. And but you know, so you know saying to yourself, aye, well, aye, we, we were a lot of good stuff. We, we were a better team and a lot of good stuff. And, but you know saying to yourself with some of the things that's falling about the box and chances, you know looking down the other end and seeing Billy Mackay and saying to yourself, if only, because Billy's a sniffer. Aye. And that's, that's what I'm talking about, is a natural sniffer. Yeah, James sure. Vincent and these guys are no natural sniffers. But they're doing a great job for the team. Sure. And um, so we need to look at that. But all credit to the boys. These have been absolutely outstanding. They've been, honestly they've been outstanding. Uh, with injuries that we've had, still trying to persevere, digging in there, digging it out, all working for each other. You know, they're a pleasure to work with, that's for sure. I think when you look at it, I mean, I mean it must be one thing after another, injury wise, you've got Josh Meekins out today. Aye, Josh Meekins. And Drake's out as well, so you've got a lot of out your midfield. Sprung, on, sprung on us uh, the other day there, but you know, if we could get everybody on the training pitch on a regular basis and got good numbers to pick from and add one or two, then we'll be okay, and everybody knows that. But you get nothing if you don't do the fundamentals, the do's and don'ts in football. And we sometimes, when we are chasing the game, we do more don'ts. And do's and that's making mistakes. You're taking it, it's the fundamentals. Sure. You're making the wrong decisions. We need to be better than that. We need to be a lot better than that. Is that simply because guys are a wee bit out of position and they're trying, oh, I they're trying too they're hard? Trying too hard. One hundred percent trying too hard. But once again, if you look at our first goal, a fantastic goal, Polly and boom, volley. And then you need to give Polly special praise. He's, he's done exceptionally well again today. I thought he was right up there, possibly our man of the match. Um, all credit to him. Only disappointed with the second goal that we lost, and we can't keep a clean sheet. So we need to sit down and address that. Look at that. Is it us? Are we too expansive? Maybe. Well, thanks very much for your time, John. Have a brilliant Christmas, and let's see what happens in the window. Same to the supporters. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful Christmas to everyone connected with Inverness. Thank you. Cheers. John.